Hello everyone, welcome to third ANSYS Fluent tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to make a simulation of a steady state case of a flow over a, a two-dimensional cylinder. Uh, for that reason, I have already dragged and dropped this uh, fluent, uh, fluid flow fluent from analysis systems. And here I changed the analysis type to 2D since uh, we are going to make it 2D dimensional. Then I click on geometry and I wait until space claim opens up. So you see that the space claim is starting. Let us make sure that the unit is in meter first. I'll go to units and change the length from millimeters to meters. And I press OK. So <clears throat> what I would like to do is to draw a cylinder on XY plane. So I pick this XY plane and uh, click on plane view. And then I'll make a cylinder with a diameter of one meter. Uh, this is my cylinder but I have to create my boundary as well so I'll create the same cylinder but uh, really far from the cylinder so that the boundary conditions does not or the boundary does not interact with the vague flow uh, downstream of the cylinder so I'll just make a cylinder of diameter 64 which means it's 64 times bigger than the cylinder itself and uh, I'll go back to my 3D mode so if I zoom, you see that the cylinder has a hole in the middle and um, actually this would be my inflow and that would be my outflow. But uh, I, need to, I need to divide my domain to two parts so that I, ha I can have inlets uh, on the left and outlet at the, uh, on the right side. So I'll go back to a sketch mode. I pick this surface again and I just... Uh, try to divide it to two part by just a simple line so here it is and then I need to do the same on the other side so I'll go back to 3D mode but uh, I need to subtract this uh, little circle from the flow domain since this is uh, not going to be my flow domain so there is a simple trick for doing that. I'll press pull. I select this one. I drag it a little bit to the left and then I press on cut and pull it back all the way so that I can see my hole in the middle of uh, my flow domain. So I think I'm good with the with the geometry. So I'll just uh, close my geometry, I close my space claim and uh, click on mesh. So it may take some few seconds. I'll just pause this uh, video and I'll come back uh, when the geometry is loaded in my mesh. Now my geometry is uh, loaded in mesh mesh tool. So here is my big cylinder and uh, actually my flow domain and the boundaries. And here is the little circle in the in the middle of this big flow domain, which is my bluff body. So. Let us first just click on the generate mesh to see what default mesh uh, actually this meshing tool is giving us. Uh, so I'll just uh, need to press this show mesh. Mm. Where is it now? Here it is. So you see this is quite unstructural and uh, uh, very coarse. Uh, doesn't have much inflation toward the cylinder. So this is not what we're really looking for. Uh, I click on mesh. I right click on that. I put insert and... Uh, press face meshing then I pick this surface and this surface all both together by just keeping the control key and then I'll click update to see how the mesh is looking like now so this is quite a structured uh, looks much better but it's still coarse and uh, not really what we are looking for so I need to put some sizing on the edges so I'll go back uh, on the mesh uh, let us just uh, yeah go back to geometry and make this show mesh uh, 
inactive again I right click on mesh I put sizing and then I I have to select the edge and uh, in the sizing on the edge I pick this edge pick this one and uh, the bluff body itself so this one and that one now I have four edges selected uh, the type I would go for this number of divisions and I put it to 96 and the behavior I would like to make it like hard uh, hard behavior since this is a simple geometry and um, uh, I mean the settings should be set to hard because this uh, behavior soft behavior is uh, when, when you let the ANSYS fluent uh, dictate other settings rather than the settings that you're putting on this specific uh, sizing or whatever specifications you're putting so I'll just put it to hard so that this would be the forcing setting here no bias so I'm I think I'm happy with that but then I would like to put some sizings for these two edges as well because I would like to inflate uh, my mesh toward the cylinder I would like to have much finer mesh close to this uh, bluff body so I'll go back to mesh and I put insert and then sizing and I select this one so if you look at uh, if you look at the the arrow it's showing uh, to the top which means that the edge is starting from here to the top so I'll just click apply element size number of division again 96 and then behavior I put it to hard but here I would change the bias from no bias to this because I would like to have much finer mesh in the start of the edge and I put the bias factor to 400 and I'll do the same for the other one for the other edge I pick this I click apply number of division is actually 96 behavior I'll choose for hard and the bias would be this one and 400 let us now update the mesh and see how the mesh looks like now okay structure much finer inflated toward the bluff body cylinder and if we zoom enough close to the cylinder you can see that this is quite fine close to the cylinder and I would I'm quite happy with this mesh so I'll just close this mesh tool and now it's time to set up and run the simulation in ANSYS Fluent so I double click on setup I'll pick for double precision and uh, I wait until my geometry and mesh loads in ANSYS Fluent so here is uh, my geometry so in the beginning in the model the energy is off and uh, the viscous uh, the viscous model is set to laminar because um, I'm going to run it in a low Reynolds number so this this would be laminar no turbulent flow so in the material I click on air I double click on air and uh, for this case of simplicity I change the density to 1 and the viscosity to 0.05 so I'm putting this viscosity to 0.05 because uh, with the velocity of 1 meter per second I can make sure that the Reynolds number is 200 uh, actually this is not air but uh, you can keep it as air it doesn't matter so then just change and create then you close it and uh, you go back to this boundary conditions uh, uh, actually what we have forgot is to create some name selection for our geometry so I'll just uh, close this quite quickly and I go back to mesh and uh, make some name selection for the boundary conditions which I forgot to do so I double click on the mesh again okay here is my mesh so I'll uh, 
go for edge selection right click create name selection this is my inlet this is my outlet and if I zoom back into my bluff body these two edges are actually my cylinder wall I'll just make it like I'll name it like cylinder wall and uh, yeah I'll just close it and uh, right click and update so since I have made some name selections in my meshing I need to update it so you can see that uh, ANSYS is updating my mesh component in fluid flow and you can see the progress here so it probably takes uh, a few seconds so I'm done I'll go back to setup again so you see that the upstream mesh of this cell has changed do you want to load the new mesh I'll, cl I'll click on yes double precision okay but I would expect to get a new message here as well okay here is the new information model inform information is incompatible with incoming mesh found some missing and new zones in the new mesh so to make the new mesh compatible I have to go to setting and match zone names panel so I'll go to file recom uh, recorded mesh operations and then I click on match zone names so you see that in the old one I had only uh, I had I had no name selection so everything was uh, named uh, automatically to wall but here now I have cylinder wall outlet and inlet and then I just click apply so that the new mesh will be reloaded and then I then I just close it so if I go back to my model energy off viscous laminar material hopefully air is still the same thing yeah 1.05 then I'll go to boundary conditions and you see that the new names are coming up so the cylinder wall cylinder wall is wall so the inlet I'll just double click on the inlet so the method I would like to have for my velocity is this component in the inlet and then the x velocity of 1 and uh, the outlet is uh, the outlet is just the gauge pressure of 0 pascal which is fine enough and then I press on my reference value and uh, I compute it from inlet and the density is 1 this is uh, this looks good and then the methods uh, the methods I will keep it as default scheme is simple uh, gradient least square cell based uh, pressure second order and momentum second order upwind as well so what I would like to do is now is to initialize my solution from the inlet I go for a standard initialization and I put inlet and the x velocity is uh, 1 but before that I'll I'll need to change my uh, residuals in the monitor I make it to 1 e minus 6 same for x velocity and same for y velocity and I click OK now it's time to initialize my solution so initialization is done and then I go for run calculations and I put for 2000 iterations but hopefully this will be converged sooner than 2000 and then I click on calculate so this this takes some uh, probably few minutes or a few seconds I'll come back when the solution is converged okay my simulation has now converged so I'll just go to this post processing here either you can post process the results in this uh, fluent itself or you can go to the CFT post but since this is a simple case I'll just do it here I'll go to contour click on OK and, uh, and 
I'll go for the contours of velocity magnitude and I make sure to fill it and you can see the contour plot of the velocity magnitude and if I zoom close to the surface of the cylinder you can see the stagnation point on the back side of the, the, the cylinder and the vague zone which is elongated uh, like two, 2D or 3D uh, downstream of the cylinder and then you have the higher velocities to the top and bottom you can also show the contour plots of uh, actually the pressure as well to observe quite similar things so you see that the stagnation point here high velocities here and lower velocities downstream of the cylinder you can also put the vector plots on top of that as well you can make a new one and the velocity can make the scale a little bit bigger to have the better sense of the vector plot so the same thing here so you can see that uh, the flow is going the stagnation point here the flow is going on uh, on the side and then the flow is actually going smoothly with no separations this is a steady state solution perhaps and then low low velocity region higher velocity regions a typical steady state solution for laminar flow of uh, flow over a cylinder at 200 Reynolds of 200 so I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned uh, new meshing methods and uh, and the ANSYS fluent itself so I'll come back with more complex geometries and more complex uh, simulations in the next tutorials stay tuned thank you very much until next time